We're, We're back. back. I'm Crystal. And I'm Casey. The wine. And food experts from Manhattan Beach Lodge. We are so excited to tell you about our 2022 wine events. We kicked off the season on April 22nd with our spring Wino Vino. We tasted four sets of blind side-by-side -side wine. It was a great time. Paired with four small plates, of course. Yeah. Next on our calendars is the spring wine dinner, Saturday, May 14th. It's going to be a great time. The menu looks great. Also four courses. Right? Paired with four Ancient Peaks wines from Paso Robles. First course is going to be a spring salad with arugula, grilled asparagus, crispy prosciutto, gorgonzola, pear vinaigrette, all the great things. So good. That's going to be paired with the Sauvignon Blanc from H&M Peaks. So this is, has aromas of pear, pineapple, lemon zest with a really fresh mineral tones. Yum. Yeah, absolutely. Second course is a seared, sca seared sea scallops. Sea scallops with Monterey Jack kale risotto and lemon beurre blanc. Yum. Yeah. This is going to be paired with Chardonnay. So this has tropical aromas of pineapple and mango with a trailing note of pear and wet stone. Some of these wine like <laughs> notes you're like what stone? Oh, what stone? So if you like I lick love, a, if you lick a stone with, <laughs> I love the taste of, of wet, wet stone. stone. One of my favorites. Oh, I mean, really. It all makes sense, right? And the third course is something I've been doing for Crystal and some of our servers. It's like um, a, what is it called? Like undercover or like behind the scenes? Secret menu item. Secret menu item. Um, and I'm amping it up for the wine dinner. We're calling it the Bougie Burger. It's, it's going to be a grass, it is bougie, <laughs> grass fed beef cider, caramelized onions, uh, pancetta lardons, aged cheddar, frisé, garlic aioli, a potato bun, which is not a bun made out of potatoes, but there's <laughs> potato flour in the bun. <laughs> I've been asked that many times. Right. And uh, truffle parmesan fries. It is the best burger I have ever had. And I'm telling you when it's the best, I it, it's so good. I'm like almost like mad that other people get to have it because it was like our secret thing. Yeah. But that used to be the national chicken. And look at how wonderful that has done. All right. That's going to be paired with Merlot. So Merlot has that sleek aroma of plum, cherry, and mocha with captivating hints of toasted oak. They told us that this has to be paired with the burger and that's how we decided to do the Bushi burger. It's gonna be wonderful. Yeah. Fourth course, I'm gonna be smoking a bone-in short rib with uh, some cherry wood, garlic, uh, herb tapenade. Yeah. Set it there a little bit. Rosemary and brie whipped potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> Honey gastrique, roasted Brussels sprouts, which are also on the menu mm -hmm. as an appetizer. And we normally don't do them as a side because they are a lot of work. But for so this the, dinner, yeah. we'll do it. Absolutely. All right. And then, of course, that's going to be paired with the Cabernet. This has vivid aromas of violet and boysenberry and black currant with trailing hints of tobacco. Again. That weird like notation. It's like, yeah. So if I like lick a cigarette, it's gonna be <laughs> <laughs> I no, doubt it's gonna it's taste not like, like that. that at all. Because I don't smoke, but I and I this wine is wonderful, but it's just yeah, like weird, like right? Like a hearty Cuban, not as much a, a Marlboro. <laughs> but anyway, on from that, and then to finish it off, we're gonna be uh, finishing everything. Finishing everything. This is a, a surprise with a chocolate covered strawberry. Yeah, we did not tell anyone about this on the menu because. We are pairing it with our house um, Prosecco, which is Cantorini. And it's not on the menu because it's obviously not an ancient peaks wine, but we like wanted to give somebody, or not somebody, everybody, a little sweet at the end. And what a fun way to end the yeah. dinner. Saturday okay. more, May 14th. 6 p.m., $78 per person plus plus. Uh, reserve your table at mblodge.com. All right. Let's talk about summer. Let's Vino, Vino. talk about summer. Feels like summer. You may not be able to see it, but there is a sliver of ice somewhere back there. Way, way, way I, back there. We're not even like thinking about it anymore. Summer is here and we are looking forward to it just as much as you guys are. And well, the sunset has just set and it, every day this week it's been just like perfect. Beautiful. Okay. Let's talk about our mini wine dinners where I create four courses. Paired with four sets of side-by-side -side wines. 
So you get eight wines. This is like a baby dinner. So four small plates, but eight wines. So like, it's all the things. And these are better known as our Wino Vinos. Yeah. The first Wino Vino is on Thursday, June 9th at 6 p.m. And we will be featuring Italy. Italy. We haven't done Italy in a few years. And so we're really excited to, to bring it back. And with a different vendor, with a bunch of different wines. We didn't have the first time we did Italy. And I think it's gonna be all the things. So four sets of side-by-side -side wine. Absolutely, paired with four small plates inspired by the region. And let's be real, if you know me, you know I love Italian food. Yeah. So it's gonna be great. July event is on Thursday, the 14th, featuring the Pacific Northwest. Well, the August event is on Thursday, the 18th. Featuring California, it's August 18th, I'm sorry. Yeah, August 18th, and then what's great about that one is California is a huge state. We're yeah. doing Paso Robles, we've done Napa, there's Sonoma, there's, you know, the Russian River Valley. The Russian River Valley. <laughs> there's a lot of areas to cover, so that's gonna be a really cool side-by-side. -side. So we hope to hold these events outdoors, weather permitting is what we would prefer but as you know you know things can happen and we could be indoors it's too hot too cold too windy if it fuck, if it snows <laughs> or rains anything can anything, happen we know it, how yeah. minnesota weather yes is. i mean last year it was so hot in june people were like dripping Sweltering. into their wine and, and then so august they were complaining that we were inside because but it was it was hot and it's yeah. hot you know you can't drink wine when you're sweating into either it. way we had a really yeah. great time also we are gonna get back into social seating so if you reserve a table for less than six people two fours you will be sat with other people because it's a lot more fun when you sit if you come with two people it's not as much fun when you yeah. sit uh, with two people at the table yep. as when you're forced to sit in a social situation yep. and interact with people We love it and trust yep. us when we say you'll love it, too. Yeah, it's it, it's a wonderful situation Yeah, and it's a social event, right? Right and yeah, absolutely You can register now for the spring wine dinner The we know vino event registration is typically open about a month before yeah, and if you attend, like, let's say the June event, you can register for the July event. When you attend the July event, you can register for the August event. Exactly. There is that opening. Um, also, it will be available online. So please keep an eye on our website, our Facebook, our Instagram, and make sure you're signed up for the Manhattan's um, emails. It'll help for when you need to know if these events are coming up. Mm -hmm. we, we... Or if we're closed. Yeah, for closed. We, a lot happens. of times we do close for weddings. Yeah. But... We're looking forward to a, a really fun summer season full of great food. And, of course, wine. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>